So where exactly do I find these butterfly sparks? That sounds easy enough, but what's the challenge? What do I have to do? Activated? How do I activate the portal? I don't see any switches or power buttons. Okay, that dragonfly is as good as free. Okay, so what's the challenge this time? Activated? How do I activate the portal? I don't see any switches or power buttons. Okay, that dragonfly is as good as free. Oh yeah, you'd think I'd remember that by now. Okay, so what's the challenge this time? Okay, that dragonfly is as good as free. <laughs> Howdy, Spyro. Space Rip Talks have arrived from nowhere and have overrun the farm looking for dragonflies. Since they haven't been able to find any, they've been abducting cows and locking them inside the big barn. And I'm afraid I'm next. Don't worry, I'll help you. Hey there, Dragon. Thanks for helping out this here farm. Anytime, Farmer Bill. Here, take this thing, Majig. I was gonna use it in my new smoker BBQ for flavor. <laughs> hey, it's Fiona. What? 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 Exactly. <laughs> Oh no, Spiber, the UFO that took the cows is back. It's gonna steal my cows again. What can I do to help? We've set up some cannons just in case they come back, but we don't have any way to power them. Maybe you can help us power them with your lightning breath. Just make sure you activate the cannon when the UFO is nearby. Seems like if Bill was in the barn, he could have saved the cows himself, doesn't he? Yeah, it does. Hey, Spyro, boy, am I glad to see you. What's going on around here? 
those riptocks have decided to have a luau feast, mm. and I just found out that we're the main course. Mm. We save us, Spyro. The mm. riptocks have locked us all up behind these cage doors. Mm. We're stuck here waiting for them to come back. I heard them whispering something about hot and spicy sauce. I'd love to help, mm. but how am I going to get you out of there? Each cage is sealed and can only be opened by finding and activating a switch. Find mm. each switch to open each cage. Mm. Activate that switch and I go free! I haven't found that switch yet. It's right there! What are you, blind? I thought dragons could see in the dark. Hurry! Mm. 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 All you have to do is charge or flame the switch. You can do it, Spyro! Thank you so much, Spyro. I just couldn't have handled being eaten for dinner. No problem. I'll mm. keep a nose out for your friends. I think I can smell them roasting off in the distance. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, how's it going? Not mm. good, Spyro. I keep imagining myself slathered in barbecue sauce. It's not a comforting thought when you're supposed to be on vacation. Get me out of here. Please get me out of here. I heard a Riptock talking about sausages. Sure. What can I do? Hey, there's a button on the cliff. All the way over there. I think there might be an underwater cave somewhere around here. Maybe this is Thing you saved me. I swear I could hear the sausage grinder calling my name. No problem. Saving pigs on vacation is what I was born to do. Get me out of here! Hello, the gate's open. Huh? It is? Oh, well, what do you know? Look at that. Silly me. Thanks for saving me. Hey, it's Dill! Thanks again, Spyro. That would have been bad news for those Riptox. I'm mostly fat myself, you see. Nothing but cholesterol. My front left hoof alone would clog an artery in under three seconds. Well, I guess they got lucky this time. Is that the right thing to say? We got ourselves a problem here. Well, these here rip talks have set up shop in our trees. They're using them bees to launch attacks on us. Well, if you could wipe them all out, I'd be much obliged. When you're done, go see my second cousin, Warren Bob. Cool. 
Now it's time to go kick some rip talk butt! I don't believe it. You did it! Uh, it was no sweat. Yeah, but I didn't think you could really do it. Now I owe Jimmy Bob five bucks. And you owe us one dragonfly. I sure enough do. Here you go. <laughs> hey, it's Lily! You did it! You saved us a whole mess of trouble by getting rid of them nasty critters. Glad I could be of service. Here's a dragonfly for you, little fella. Don't spend it all in one play. Hey, it's Kaka! Well, I was gonna keep that dragonfly as a pet, but them critters are just more troubles than there was. Besides, they got them bug eyes, too. Mm, gives me the creeps. Yeah, tell me about it. Hi! Aha, Spyro! The R-1000 and the TRX-1000s have escaped from their inescapable cages and are running amok through the jungle! Please stop them before they destroy the rest of the science labs and all of our research! No problem. But say, what's a R-1000-something-something? Oh, well, to put it in simplified terms that even a dragon can understand, they're mechanically enhanced nanotech proportion-oriented rip -tops. Which, uh, we've been working on here in our labs. Uh, quite a state of the art, I might add. <laughs> but, uh, very edgy. Oh, really? And how exactly would I go about destroying these things? Well, we did find a flaw in the R-1000 models when they were, uh, exposed to sub-zero temperatures. Perhaps that information will come in useful. <laughs> no problem. I have just the right breath to chill him out. Jims. Still fresh. Three days. They're following us! Hey, Spyro! I've been studying this temple, and it's quite fascinating! Oh, yeah? How so? Gosh darn it! Those blasted R-1000s destroyed my lab and ran off with my equipment! Um, hello? Oh, um, uh, hey Spyro. Say, I, I don't suppose you could help me get my equipment back, could you? Great! Thanks, Spyro! Well, you, you see all those R-1000s out there? Say, borrowed my equipment! All I need you to do is to get it back for me. <laughs> Simple. Oh, that's all you want me to do. Uh, and how exactly do you want me to do that? There's a lava pit out there. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it just so happens that we scientists here have needed to go on to the lava also. We therefore developed these devices that you can use too. Here, let me turn it on for you. There. Now all you have to do is pass through this gateway, and you will be able to walk onto the lava without being hurt. However, Spyro, the invulnerability that you have to the lava won't last long, but you can come back and recharge if necessary. Cool! Now it's time to go kick some rip talk butt! Good luck to you! Spyro, you made it! Great job! Uh, it was no sweat. That was terrific, Spyro. I'd never seen anyone get up here before. Really? Then how did you get up here? Oh, that. Well, there's a hidden elevator that only I know how to find. But anyway, uh, you'll have to keep it a secret, but there's not really any treasure up here. <laughs> I never actually thought that anyone could get to the top! What? So I did all that for nothing? Well, I guess I should give you something. It's not much, but I found this dragonfly hiding in my secret elevator. Here, you can have it. <laughs> hey, it's Warren! 